Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and today I'm actually going to be doing a video review for the Sony PlayStation 5 PS VR 2. So this is the actual brand new PlayStation VR that's recently come out. What I wanted to do in this video is just kind of walk you through some of the components that this came with. I'll compare this to a comparison that I have, which was using one of the original VR headsets that came out, and then I'll actually do a demo just to give you some idea of what to expect. So I actually have this mounted on a custom charging station, but essentially with this particular VR system you have two controllers. Each of these has some really cool ergonomic controls. You have your wrist straps. You basically put your hand through on both the left and the right. You have your joystick here that you can use for controls. This kind of acts as a select button, your PlayStation button, the triangle and square buttons. And then you also have your trigger button here on the back as well as a trigger button here, up top. These are fairly straightforward to utilize. One of the things that I do recommend is getting one of these third-party charging stations because it makes it a lot easier to charge the controllers. The right side is fairly similar. The only difference is that you have the O and the X buttons on this side and essentially your start button there on the top right. Same thing with the triggers on the back. With the third-party charging system, I was able to add these little USB-based magnets. So when you put this on the charging station, it simply magnetizes the charging port, and that will immediately start charging right on this station. Now, in terms of the headset, you have a few adjustable points. Basically, you can use this top button here to move the headset out, and then you also have a large ring piece that goes around the top. Very, very comfortable on your head. This dial here in the back can actually be spun to tighten the back piece to your head. And then you have these two large goggles, as well as a nice nose piece that helps with comfort and overall usability. You only have a single wire that actually comes out of this. And additionally, you can optionally plug in there on the bottom and audio cable, which I have right over here. This audio cable allows you to put on this headset through the back of your head and basically plug these into your ears, so it gives you full immersion when actually playing VR games. I actually have a large receiver here with two bookshelf speakers, so I usually just play here, and I'll stand in the dedicated space that I have. This is kind of a multifunction space. This is actually a garage that was converted into a gym space originally, but I also have some gaming stuff in here. So I have my pull-up bar, I've got my weights, but then I also have this dual racing setup, so basically I can use one of these for something like Gran Turismo 7 while playing VR. But then I also have this large matted area that I can use to set up my VR play space, and that doesn't give me any problems when I'm going to set that up. So I'm going to go ahead, we're going to do a little demo of Les Mills Combat, which is a fitness-based game, and I'll just kind of give you some idea of what to expect. One of the main things with this is that you do have to be careful with the cable that's actually plugged in. Um, I had an instance where I was playing Les Mills Combat, and I actually hit the wire with my hand, causing it to bend a little bit on the end of the USB connection that goes into the PS5, which I have mounted here behind my TV. And it caused the connection to get bent, and I actually thought maybe I damaged my VR system and I was going to have to get a new headset. So I recommend getting something like this. So if I was to pull on the wire, it's going to take all the force on this little piece here, as opposed to the connection going into the PS5. Overall, it's very easy to get this up and running. They do have some eye connectivity functions. So basically, this is going to help with things like nausea. Comparing this to something like the HTC Vive, I found that when using this, I don't get motion sickness as easily as maybe I would have with the Vive, which was one of the original VR systems that had come out. And I'm also finding that the picture quality of everything just looks absolutely amazing. The graphics and everything are just stunning, and the fact that you only have this single wire coming through as opposed to this big bulky setup like I had with the original Vive. This is just such a simple system that's very easy to get up and running. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set up the camera, and we'll do a little demo here of me using Les Mills Combat. Your left foot forward, put your hands on your box, and God let your ass. Good, good again, perfectly slip. Green is going to be white. So we're going to hit jamming across. That's a left and right, left, right, and all good again. Purple, green, left and right. So here's the sit of the target. The rings go near, break the target, the points go on. Beautiful, wound, they're going to change up the stripes. 
avocado left and right. It looked left and right beautiful when we did the avocado forms among the same. 